Hey guys, TC Made with TC Gaming. I wanted to bring you a project real quick. This is going to be called the UE5 Cinti Rig. I'm going to have a link for this to my Google Drive. I have a um, Unreal Training Downloads folder in here, and then there's an Animation Subfolder. UE5 Cinti Rig will be in here. You can download that at your convenience. What's inside of that is going to be this content here, where it's basically just a stock UE5 third-person project. And I've added a folder in here called Cinti. It has an animation blueprint for Cinti, an IK retargeter for Cinti, an IK rig for Cinti, and also a stock Cinti polygon, unreal, skeleton, skeletal mesh, and physics asset, which were provided to me by Cinti quite a while back when I was talking to um, one of the one of the owners or one of the people there, they'd give me a file for doing some other animation stuff. So I'm providing that in here. It doesn't have any other uh, properties on it that you could use it for anything, but it's great for retargeting. Um, this will give you a stock setup for this. So the idea behind this is I've already gone into the third person game mode and in the third person game mode, I've already added in a sub character to the original mesh. I've pointed it to the SKM Cinti Polygon Unreal skeletal mesh that I have in here and I have it pointed to the ABP Cinti blueprint. The Cinti blueprint in this animation thing is a very simple blueprint that's picking up a retarget pose from mesh and it's pointed to this IK retargeter asset for Cinti. If you go out and look at this, the IK retargeter for Cinti is basically a chain mapping file which brings over the rig for this and allows you to um, use the animations that come from the third person. So, for example, if I say walk forward, these are already synchronized and working. Everything's ready to go. And there's also the rig, which I have set up for a proper Cinti rig for the skeleton on a full body IK rig using hand goals and also um, goals to the, the balls of the feet. And these are already set with the proper settings and everything for these. You shouldn't have any issue with it. But basically, once you pull this in, if you hit play, since I've already set that up on the third-person game mode, or the third-person character, you'll have this stock blue Cinti guy. And you can see that his IK will work. Um, everything's fine there. It's already set up for you. So the idea behind this file is that if you have a Cinti pack, what you should be able to do is you should be able to go out to your launcher or however you bring your Cinti stuff in. I'm going to do it through launcher real quick. I'll go out here to my library and I'll pull up a polygon pack. I have most of mine are direct purchases from uh, Cinti themselves so they're not in my launcher here. But let's say for example I pulled up the polygon town pack. I'll just say add to project. You want to say show all projects. I would pull up my UE5 Cinti rig pull this back to a compatible version which in this case is 427 say add to project and uh we'll pull these in here and once i get this into the level i should basically have this polygon town mesh character section and all we should have to do since i have this other one already set up with the abp Cinti and all these other assets all you should have to do is go to these characters and just right click on this and say skeleton assign skeleton and you just want to go I'll expand this out a little bit so you can see it you want to go down here and pick the Cinti polygon unreal skeleton and just hit accept and now what will happen is that sk character you can save these because it prompts you over there these this sk character um daughter zero one would now be available as a character up here so if i go to my third person blueprint open up the character go to this mesh I should see that the daughter in here, SK daughter, I think it was called, SK daughter 01. I should see that now in my viewport. If I compile and come out here and hit play, I would now have that daughter character on there. And if I wanted to change that to another character, and hit shift escape, go again to the meshes, and I could just go characters and pick another one. So I'll pick. Uh, Character Schoolboy01, Skeleton, Assign Skeleton. Again, pick the one for Polygon Unreal. Hit Accept. Save that. Go over here to my settings. And I should be able to pull up Skeletal Mesh for Schoolboy. 
and compile that go back out here and i now have the character for schoolboy and this will already have all the um, animations defined and the the um, ik rig and everything already set up for you so it should give you everything you need to get started very quickly with just pulling a polygon resource pack in and mapping it out to a working file all right in a future video very soon i don't can't promise when but in a future video I will also go through and do this for the um, the fantasy pack that has all the different variations of characters. <clears throat> when we do it for that pack, it should be the same thing, except you're just going to go and take all your meshes and assign them to that new skeletal asset. Usually, you can right-click on here, right-click the whole batch, and just say skeleton, assign skeleton. And it'll just let you go through one at a time. So I'd pick polygon, unreal, accept. I can see it here is Polygon Unreal, except Polygon Unreal, except if you just do it for each one of these uh, individually, it would remap all those things and you just save the skeleton uh, or save the uh, the files. Usually just do a save all, save selected, and that'll put them all on there. So now these characters are all there. Do the same thing with the schoolgirl skeleton, sign skeleton, pick the Polygon one, accept, and save all. So if you keep going through that process, you'll have all of them on the same master skeletal rig. And a real easy way to double check these to make sure you've gotten them is if I were to right click on this and say skeleton find skeleton, it should take me over to the Cinti folder where I have the polygon unreal skeleton set up for that. You'll see the one that I didn't do yet is this character son. So if I go skeleton find skeleton for that one, so that takes me right to this town skeleton. Okay, and we should be able to just very easily change these, assign skeleton, polygon, accept, save all. So now all these characters would be available for characters to put onto the new IK mannequin that's inside of an Unreal Engine project. My name's TC Made with TC Gaming. Hopefully these files help you guys get started, and uh, we'll be back with another video sometime very soon. Thanks again for watching.